Yo guys, so today let's talk about what I think the stock market actually is. So the stock market, you know, is, you know, just a general way for you to buy and sell shares of a company. That's the definition on the general, most, most vague level. But what is the, the actual purpose of the stock market? It is literally just a way for you to make money or lose money. The whole point of putting your money into the stock market is to gain money. That's what everyone's objective, everyone's goal in the stock market is just to gain, make money. So that's why the stock market is so ridiculously tricky because every single person in the stock market is competing with you to make money. They want the value of this company to go up when they own the shares so they can buy it or so the, values of, the value of their shares will appreciate and they can sell it to someone else later at a higher price and the people who don't own the stock are looking at it and they want the value of it to drop so they can buy it or etc. The whole so the whole premise of the stock market is to compete with other people in the stock market and try to get their money. So it's just it's a competition to get money. That's why it's like it is the most tricky competition in the world is the hardest competition. It is uh, super not easy. It is why, that's probably why, what they say, 90% of people lose money in the stock market. So, that's what I think the stock market actually is. Um, tell me what your thoughts are on the stock market. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's it's actually um, just, you know, you're buying part, a part of a company. If they do well, your stock price goes up, and if not, it goes down. I, I think it's a little more complicated than that. But interestingly, there is a lot of correlation between how well a company is doing and how well their, how good their future looks and their price, right? And that's because there's a lot of psychology going into this. Like the price of a stock doesn't actually have to correlate with uh, how well a company is doing. A company could be putting out phenomenal numbers, and it really doesn't make a difference to the company whether the, whether their price of the price of their stock is zero dollars or a hundred dollars. And let that sink in. What that means is there's a detachment actually in reality between the company, a company, and their stock price. If their stock price goes through the roof, the company doesn't do better unless they own their own shares and they're investing in them, their own company and then they're making money because their own shares have gone up. Uh, but also conversely, if the company does amazing with stock price, it doesn't generally have to do well. Like for instance, Intel, uh, this is a company that's been doing really well for a long time and uh, for like a year and a half their stock price has just been nowhere, it hasn't gone anywhere. I would think based on their numbers, their price, the price of their company should have gone up over, over the last year and a half, but it hasn't. Uh, it's The stock market's a really mass psychology, psychological game uh, where the company where a company's performance actually may, has a big contributing factor on where the stock's price goes but it doesn't actually you know it doesn't actually matter to the company it's just it's just everyone looks at how well the company's doing before they buy a stock and therefore stock prices are driven a lot of time by how well a company's doing but yeah in reality um the only uh, the only benefit a company gets from having a stock is when they do the IPO and they initially release the stock to the public so that you can buy shares. That is the only time there is a real benefit to the company, and that's because they they just sell those shares to people and they get a whole bunch of like revenue or you know money to use as an investment. Um, okay, I take it back. It's not the only time they benefit. They also benefit if they buy a lot of their own shares and then they do really well and um, their price goes up in general, then they're actually profiting on owning their own stock. But technically, they could have put their money into any other stock, right? So it's kind of like, a, are they really benefiting from having having a stock? Not really. Blurp. All right, bloop out. <laughs>